You might have used some exercises and methods to manifest your desire. I know people tried different methods, and even some of them use different tools to manifest their desires, but only a few successfully manifest what they want to manifest. You need to know that every method doesn't work for everyone and every desire. Some methods won't help you manifest your desires, so that's why in today's video I'm going to share with you an exercise that will help you manifest whatever you want to manifest. It is a super amazing technique suggested by Neville Goddard, and it really works no matter what your desire is and who you are. Before I share with you this technique, I would like our new viewers to subscribe to our channel by clicking the red subscribe button and pressing the bell icon for more videos. So let's now get started. Well, this is a simple exercise, and if you just do it, almost all of your desires will come true. This is such a powerful method, and it allows you to manifest your desires in just a few hours. That's really amazing, right? So I recommend you watch this video till the end so that you can understand everything very well and apply it the way it should be applied. For this exercise, you need a pen and a piece of paper. That's it. After you get the paper and a pen, I want you to think about your desire. Just sit alone for a while. Get relaxed and think about what you want in your life. This is a moment where you make a big decision, so I want you to be completely relaxed and neutral. You shouldn't be angry at someone or emotional. You have to be relaxed and neutral. After getting relaxed and neutral, ask yourself what you want. Here you decide what is best for your life and what you should do. So that's why I'm asking you to be relaxed and not be emotional. When you are emotional or angry, you may choose to manifest something that isn't good for your future and your life. So relax completely in order to make better decisions. You know, we all have more than one desire and want to manifest them all. It seems almost impossible. And when someone asks us, what is the one thing that we are going to manifest? Here's the point where most of us get confused. We can't choose one desire to manifest in our lives. That's why we get confused. So I want you to sit alone in a place where no one disturbs you and think peacefully and decide what you want the most. What is the thing that you need the most and what is better for your future? Now, whatever you decide to manifest, write down its name. Whether it is a job, a specific person or an amount of money that you want to manifest, just write it down. On the top of the paper you have written the name of the thing that you want to manifest and the rest of the paper is blank. Now close your eyes and construct a scene in your head. You have to create a scene about your desires. The scene should revolve around the event that will take place after you manifest your desire. It should reflect how you will feel after manifesting your desire. How will your situation change after you manifest your desire? What will your feelings be? You see, when you manifest your desire, the behavior of people towards you will change because your reality will change, and the way you interact with people will change. Your behavior towards them will change, so you have to construct a scene based on this. Let's say you have decided to spend $50,000. Now let's construct a scene that will take place when you manifest such an amount of money. Let's say you successfully manifest $50,000. Now that happens, you buy a car that you desire. You travel in this car and visit the place that you intend to visit. Because you have money, your friends, and the people who know you respect you. The way people treat you has changed. Now they respect you and talk to you politely. You have got fame. Your family members respect you. You buy luxury items and you live a happy life. That's a pretty nice scene. Is he right? So you have to construct a scene like this. Think clearly about what will happen after you manifest your desire. This is the most important step of this exercise, and you have to create an effective scene. You know later you are going to imagine it. So put effectiveness into the scene you will create, and it should look real. After constructing such a scene, now open your eyes. Take that paper and pen again and start writing the scene. On the top of the paper, you have already written what you want to manifest. Now below this, start writing the scene on the remaining blank page. Write the scene precisely but effectively. Describe everything you will do and feel after manifesting your desire. The scene should reflect your gratitude as well as your desire to manifest your desire. So write down this scene in a few lines, and when you are writing, feel as if it is happening in front of you. You are God, and you are creating such a situation in reality. You know, the law of assumption says that you are the God of your reality. Now you have been given the task of writing your fate. It is not just a scene that you are writing, but your fate that you are writing with your own hands. So write it effectively. Write whatever you want to happen to you. Write whatever you want to see in your life. The scene that you have written will later happen in reality in your life. So write exactly what you want. Here, the best scene that I recommend you write is the congratulations scene. It's better if you write a congratulatory scene. Let's say you got the job that you wanted. 
Now you write a scene that will take place after you get the desired job, let's say. All of your family members and friends are gathered around you, and all of them are congratulating you. This is a congratulatory scene, and it is the best way to imagine your desire. Neville Goddard himself suggested this method in his books, and it's very famous and widely used. You can write a congratulatory scene if you like, or you can write any scene, as I said. It just must take place after you manifest your desire, and it should feel real. When you have constructed such a scene, imagine it. Before imagining this scene, I want you to be in a place where you aren't disturbed for at least 10 to 15 minutes. Sit there peacefully. Close your eyes so that you don't get distracted by anything. After that, start imagining the scene you have created. Feel completely immersed in it, as if you were a part of it. Feel deeply for as much time as you can. At first, you may feel bored or irritated, but you will start feeling it for real after practicing for a few days. And after doing it for a few days, you will start feeling it for real. I just feel as if it is happening right now. I'd like you to have written a congratulatory scene that feels as if everybody is congratulating you. Your friends and family members have surrounded you, and you are happy. Hear what they say. What is their tone when they talk to you or congratulate you? Imagine everything in detail and feel it to be real. One way to feel it for real is to express your happiness. When you know you have manifested it, you should be happy and satisfied. You shouldn't express your neediness. You shouldn't show as your desire needs to be manifested. In your real life, start living as if you have manifested your desire. It all means that you have to live in a state of fulfillment. When you know that you have got what you want, you immediately shift your state of consciousness. You are aware of the things you are unaware of, so now you have to enter into the state of wanting to have what you wanted to have. Let me tell you that if you can't change your state of consciousness, you will not be able to benefit from anything that you have because you are ignoring its existence. Manifestation comes with assumptions, so assume the existence of your desire. Assume that your desire is yours. You don't need to manifest it. You don't need to do anything to manifest your desire because it has already been manifested. You have already manifested it, so you don't need to show neediness. You already have it, so why are you asking for it? Because you have a desire, live with it. Feel it and it will be manifested in your 3D world. So what I'm saying is that just don't assume your desire to be yours, but feel that it is yours. You should be grateful because you have got what you wanted to get. You should express yourself as if you are satisfied and happy and don't need anything else. The problem with people is that they show signs that they are needy. They express their neediness, and when they do this, they manifest more of it. It means that if you believe that you are poor, you will become poorer. And if you believe that you are rich, you will become rich. When you think about something, you manifest more of it, no matter if it is something positive or not. Our minds can't easily differentiate between positive and negative, so it just manifests whatever you think. It produces actions and helps you make decisions based on what you believe. So our entire life is a result of our beliefs, thoughts, and imagination. And if we want to change our lives, then we are required to change our beliefs. This is the only way to change your life. You can be a different one just by changing your thoughts. You can experience a different reality by changing your thoughts. That's why I recommend you use this exercise. When you choose a desire to manifest and you create a scene about it and you imagine it again and again, then you actually put an idea in your mind that you have manifested what you wanted to manifest. The difficult thing here in this world is perhaps to change someone's thoughts. Because you may be thinking negatively, this process will take some time. You have to do this process regularly, and once you succeed in convincing your mind that you have manifested your desire, then the next moment you will manifest it. Because once you create it inside your mind, it automatically creates it in your 3D world. Whatever your desire is, try to create it in your head and it will automatically be created in your 3D world. So come out of your state of neediness and start imagining it. Step into a state where you feel as if your desire has been manifested and you will manifest it. If your mind doesn't believe it, try to convince it by doing everything as you will do after manifesting your desire. So guys, that's all for this video. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please click the subscribe button to subscribe to it and press the bell icon to receive a notification of our latest uploads. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and share it, and share your thoughts by commenting below the video. Until then, see you in the next video.